basically divided runners in three different groups, 69 runners total. And uh, the first group was just an uh, education only group. So basically telling runners, you just go maximum two out of 10 in terms of symptoms. Uh, you decrease the running duration, you increase the running frequency globally in your week. And, uh, and just having a program like that based on education. The second group, they added an exercise program to that, targeting hip and knee exercises and core exercises. And the third group was education plus gait retraining, in which they uh, increased their step rate, they ran softer, and if necessary, they switched to a non rear foot strike pattern. So uh, basically, we compared these, these uh, three interventions through an eight week program and we followed people up to uh, a three-month follow-up after the end of the program. Uh, what we found was actually pretty interesting and uh, not in line with our hypothesis, which was that the groups who were integrating exercises or gait retraining would actually get better, uh, and actually not the case. So all three groups improved just the same. I think the first one really is the central component of education, uh, which should probably be uh, implemented by clinicians. Educate your patient on the maximum level of symptoms. That would be the first one. Uh, the second one is you can also add gator training, obviously, and, uh, and exercises, but uh, it seemed, according to our results, that there was no additional benefit. Um, and at the same time, as I said previously, doesn't mean that we don't have to prescribe those uh, elements but uh, keep it to the essential if needed, and education is probably the, the best part to, uh, to implement.